in our first novelty video we talked about the gain and gain for color, spectral Doppler, and also grayscale and how that's analogous to volume. For our second nonbiology video we're going to talk about focus and field of view and how those have an impact on frame rate and we're just going to talk very briefly about power, the ultrasound beam power. Before we can talk about focus in the field of view I just want to introduce a new concept which is the frame rate and this is the number of times that the ultrasound image is being redrawn on the screen and it's measured in Hertz uh, just like uh, you, many of us are used to seeing in our video games where everybody's trying to look for their frames per second. On the ultrasound machine you can see here that most of them uh, now can display a frame rate on the image and you can see that um, when you're doing grayscale in addition to color Doppler the ultrasound machine is uh, taking many more echoes to create an image and so those images can't be created as frequently so you can see that the frame rate decreases. As we talk about focus and field of view, we're going to talk about how changes in the focus, field of view, and other factors will change the frame rate. So the focus or focal zone, if you think back to our uh, beam diagram that we showed before, I told you that the focus depth is set electronically. And um, this is done differently in different machines. Uh, this is actually two different machines here. The first machine here on the left gives you a f small fixed focal zone that has a range of about a centimeter and you can add and subtract numerous focal zones on this machine. This machine however gives you a a range of focus um, and so what, is, what does the focus mean? Well the um, ultrasound machine is focusing its beam depth at this level and so you should get more detail. As you increase the number of focal zones the ultrasound machine is actually using multiple echoes focused at those different depths to create bands of the image that are then stitched together. So the wider the focal zone, the more echoes it takes to produce the image and therefore the lower the frame rate. So if you have a large number of focal zones or if you have a large focal zone size you're going to have a slower frame rate. And again the frame rate mostly is important when you're doing things like real-time procedures. So let's move on and talk about field of view. Uh, the primary thing that we use to control the field of view is the depth. Uh, you can limit the sweep which is the side-to-side -side movement on some transducers but primarily we're uh, concerned about image depth. And the most important thing here is that if you don't set the depth correctly you're either going to be excluding anatomy or you're, being, you're going to be including too much anatomy. And what happens when you include too much anatomy is that you lose the ability to see the details of the anatomy that you're looking at. So you want to just make sure that the field of view is set correctly and you're maximizing the picture of the anatomy that you're concerned about. Field of view also has an impact on the frame rate. So if you have a large field of view, it's going to take uh, longer for those echoes to reach the deep portions of the tissue. It's also going to take longer if you have a wider sweep. So um, those both increased field of view decreases the frame rate. Conversely, if you have a much smaller frame of view and less depth, it's going to take you uh, less time to get those echoes back to the transducer and therefore you can draw images much faster and you'll have a higher frame rate. Power output is essentially the amplitude or strength of the sound waves that are being sent out from the transducer. And most of the modern ultrasound machines are going to set this for you automatically. But uh, just to let you know that this is something that you can set on some machines and uh, that if you do increase the power output you can increase patient exposure, you can increase artifacts and also this is another way to increase the brightness of the image because if you send out larger stronger pulses you're going to be getting back larger echo. So to summarize we talked about focus and how uh, you can change the frame rate and how uh, focus impacts your image quality. We talked about the field of view which is primarily the depth and sometimes the sweep angle uh, on some ultrasound machines. We also talked about how focus and field of view impact frame rate. We talked briefly about power.